In this video, we'll be seeing a basic question on equivalence relation. We have already studied and seen what an equivalence relation means and we also have seen some example for the same. This is a working problem. Let's get going. For the set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, I mean I have a set been given with three elements 1, 2, 3. Define the relation R as follows. What is R? Let's see. The relation R is given to me as 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 1, 3. Now I have a relation, I have a set and what do I need to find out? I need to find out the ordered pair needed to make the smallest equivalence relation. I need to find out the ordered pair needed to make the smallest equivalence relation. Now let's all get reminded of what was equivalence relation from the previous video if you haven't seen. Else I'll explain in short what an equivalence relation actually is. An equivalence relation is the one which is always symmetric, reflexive and transitive. I mean it has to be reflexive, symmetric and transitive if at all it is not symmetric or not reflexive or not transitive it is not an equivalence relation now let's get to the question back these are the four ordered pairs given to me 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 1 3 the set had already three elements only now check whether it is reflexive or not for reflexive all these three elements have to be related to themselves Yes, 1 is related to 1. Is 2 related to 2? Yes, 2 is also related to 2. Is 3 related to 3? Yes, 3 is also related to 3. That means it is reflexive. So it is reflexive already. Why reflexive? Because 1, 1 is present in the relation. 2, 2 is also present in the relation. And 3, 3 is also present in the relation. These all belong to R. Now, let's check what about symmetric. So, for symmetric, I know what is symmetric. If A related to B, that implies B related to A, then it is symmetric. Let's get back to the relation now. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 already covered. What about 1, 3? 1, 3 will only have to be symmetric if 3, 1 is also present. So, for symmetric, I need to add one relation, one ordered pair. That is 3, 1. This is needed. So, 3, 1 to be added to make R, that is the relation, as symmetric. Now, that means I have to add one relation, this I have to keep into account. What about transitive? Let's check about transitive. For a transitive relation, I already know that if A related to B, B related to C and if it implies that A related to C, it means it is transitive. Let's see. These all relations are automatically transitive because they are reflexive. 1 related to 3, okay, when 1 related to 3 is present, that means if 1, 3 belongs to R and I have already added 3, 1, that means 3, 1 also belongs to R. Can these two not imply that 1, 1 should also belong to R? Because A related to B, B related to C, that means A should be related to C. It says that 1, 1 should be related to R. Now 1, 1, is it present in the question relation? Yes, it is already present. Similarly, you can check for these relations also. I mean 2, 2. There is nothing present in the ordered pair where A is 2. So not an issue with these three relations. This is 3, 3. This is 1, 3. Let's check for this also. 3, 3 belongs to R. And 1, 3, does it belong to R? Yes, 1, 3 given in the question belongs to R. Now from these two, when 3, 3 belongs to R, when 1, 3 belongs to R, if 3, 3, I mean this A and this C 
if 3 3 belongs to r yes it is a transitive relation yes 3 3 belongs to r so there is no issue with it 3 3 belongs to r that means only one relation has to be added to make this relation as the smallest equivalence relation and what was added 3 1 was added let's see which option is 3 1 and that is our answer so yes i have option number b as 3 1 this is the answer this was the question on equivalence relation a very basic fundamental problem on equivalence relation in the next video we'll be seeing some higher order thinking problem for the equivalence relation